I'm Dr. Yakama Manti Jones and I'm from Sierra Leone. I work on the president of Sierra Leone's delivery team, leading the data team, and I also lecture at the University of Sierra Leone in the Department of Economics, and I'm also the team leader of the collaborative master's program within, between the University of Sierra Leone and the University of Nairobi under PASCA, and that is the Partnership for African Governance and Social Research. I run a business and I run a literacy foundation called the Yak Jones Foundation. My passion is data. So my background is majorly economics and finance. And then when I finished my PhD, I went back home planning on publishing papers for my thesis. And then Ebola struck and then there was the post-Ebola recovery program that the President's Delivery Team in Sweden was set up to help bring the country back. And then the program was designed but when we started implementation, we found out that some of the targets that were set were not evidence-based targets. And then, so this whole data dynamics came into being. And what I found out is like, data is really, really, really important. It's important for planning, it's important for monitoring and evaluation, it's important for every single thing, performance management. So I'm like really, really passionate about data. So if you know where things are, so for example, if there's, say a town that has 10 boreholes and the town next door doesn't have any and you don't have that data there's a there's a chance that an, an, an NGO might come in and create and dig more wells in the town that already has 10 boreholes and the town next door still doesn't have any access to safe water supply so having data is really important and also when you're using data for tracking implementation it also helps you um, identify issues faster and also plan to mitigate them because if you see implementation say oh for the last couple of weeks every single week they always dig all the boreholes on time and then you started seeing things slowing down it's a red flag but if you're not tracking at that level things might go on for a month and then you say okay at the quarterly review you were supposed to do 200 and you only did 100 what happened and that would be too late to, to make an impact but that um running a level of tracking that we, we at the President's Delivery Team instituted really helped us with issues resolution and timely problem solving because we tracked MDA's implementation on a week by week basis and issues were flagged. Those that we could handle at the delivery team level we handled during deep dives. Those that had to be escalated to the Chief of Staff and to the President were escalated during our ministerial and presidential forums. So the output of that was like timely issues resolution and we really delivered on our key results. So my work on the president of Sierra Leone's delivery team is leading the data team. What we do is we help facilitate the delivery of services in key result areas. Currently the delivery team works on education, health, social protection, energy, water and governance. But what's different about how we work is we don't like monitor everything that goes on in government we facilitate working on key, delivering key result areas so for example for health there's a key result area of saving lives of women and children with the aim of reducing maternal and child mortality and save for education improving teaching skills in schools and feeding children in schools in, in energy improving operational operational generation capacity so it's those kind of specific Key results that we focus on and then we do not implement the government ministries implement but we help facilitate monitor and problem solve so if there are issues we flag them for escalation to the chief of staff or the president or if it's the person that has to work with the donor partners with the ministry of finance on on button bottlenecks and we also do a lot of engagement at local level with the parliament chiefs and section chiefs empowering them with information on what they should receive, what services they should expect, what should be delivered so that they can hold the government and other service providers accountable and this kind of accountability helps drive transparency and it forces MDAs to deliver more and it improves service delivery across the board. And also on the high level side we also track how government ministries implement projects to so track them on a week by week basis on how they implement so if you plan on doing something say by friday 
we'll try to we'll check to see whether you've done it by Friday. And if you've not done it by Friday, we'll find out why. So probably it's because somebody did not show up for work or you did not receive the money you were supposed to receive to do that. So if it's simply somebody that's not just showed up for work, we'll know who we should talk to and find out why. And then probably if it has to do with you not receiving the funds you were supposed to receive, we'll know that's above our pay grade. We have to escalate to the chief of staff or to the minister of finance or to the president. So we are that link between the MDAs and higher level government in facilitating delivery. One of the, let's, let me say, the highest point for me is, is our level of community ownership and engagement we've been able to deliver on. So in Sierra Leone we have 14 districts and then we have uh, 149 chiefdoms and thousands of sections. We were able to work with all 149 permanent chiefs, over a thousand sections, chiefs, all the district council and civil society, and we empowered them with information on service delivery in their communities. So if they were, they were to get a school built, a water well, dog, a ball, classrooms furnished, so we were able to say, okay, in this section, in this district, in this chief government this section, for your section, you're supposed to get this number of schools, this number of classrooms, this number of wells, and with, armed with that information, they were able to go out and monitor construction of these works and at the end provide feedback. So, and what we were able to the important thing was it was not just quantitative feedback, it was qualitative as well.